How would I describe this trip to my mom? Come on, you. I ate way too much food today. <laughs> you should feel that again. Can't it's wait. kind of like a reverse pilgrimage to kind of meet the people that I should have met a long time ago. Xin chào Vietnam. Welcome to Vietnam. I first went to Vietnam in 2014 on a little bit of a whirlwind discovery trip just to kind of find colours, inspiration, all those little touches that make a place special. I'm Michael Pham and I'm here for a new take on Vietnam with Intrepid. We're at Cafe Zhang in Hanoi. It's like a sign on the street and then you walk down this like long corridor and then you kind of go upstairs to this like amazing and like atrium garden. I'm having the famous uh, cafe chung da, which means egg coffee on ice. Hanoi's specialty. It tastes like a runny sort of custard, quite refreshing over the cold ice. It's pretty. It's pretty yummy. Yeah, it's a it's a nice change from Long Black. Hanoi is freaking hectic, it's sensory overload, there's so much moving around you. You've got to trust the process and be able to just shut your eyes and walk across that road. We are now at Temple of Literature, which is considered the first university of Vietnam. People come here to show respect to Confucius and wishing for good luck and success in the future. Many students in Vietnam, when they have big exams, they come to Temple touching the hand on the head of turtle, wish for luck coming to them in the future. <laughs> we got taken to lunch at Kodo, and Kodo is a social enterprise helping disadvantaged youth learn the ropes to be incredible hospitality workers. Welcome to Kodo. It's a very humble establishment, but uh, you know, it's our home. Koto is about 20 something years old now. We're Vietnam's very first social enterprise. 90% of the staff you see here are Koto graduates. So they've gone from street kids to empowered hospitality professionals. It's an amazing two year journey of transformation. If you didn't know this was a social enterprise, you might just think you're just out at a, That's correct. a casual fine dining restaurant. You can come here and have good food and also a great service. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, you're doing good as well. And that's the, the key message is that everyone now have the responsibility to look after the planet, but also to its people as well. Oh, we're, go we're, going, to the we're going to the tea house. <laughs> the tea room is hidden in an early 20th century apartment block where you can really kind of slow everything down. So this time is a season of great food flower. The flower and the fruit depends on the season. The Miss Tan tea experience is an incredibly tranquil escape from the Hanoi streets. Hanoi is pretty famous for the food. The best way to experience Hanoi is on foot with a pocket full of change. The school guys called a Bun Mi Hai Fong, a mini version of what we know back in Australia as a Bun Mi. And it's got crunchy cucumber, herbs, pate, grilled pork, and chili. And it's pretty freaking delicious. I know. <laughs> smells amazing here. It's all like grilled pork on the street, vegetables everywhere. I don't know where our guide's taking us, but it should be pretty fun. This is called Ben Ran. It's like a donut, rice flour, sugar, super crunchy. Don't eat too many. This is Bank Buon, so it's like steamed rice flour tapioca flour, potato starch, poured over like a hot plate. They're doing it on like a mesh downstairs, breaking the ingredients in, rolling it up. Mushroom, pork, serves with fish sauce. Mm. Come try some. I guess I got to see a side of Hanoi I hadn't seen before. I feel like it's always such a great reminder of where all the food that I know and love comes from. I'm already quite full, but we got bún chả Hanoi. Grilled pork balls, like a burger patty, this one. We dip the noodles in. Pretty comforting. I think I'm done. We ate way too much food today. Gonna go to aircon and lie down and recharge to Jess. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thank you.
Next, we went to the port of Halong Bay where we hopped on the boat for an overnight cruise. Let's get on the boat. We're cruising through Halong Bay. Once you leave the hustle and bustle of the harbour, it's all yours. Welcome to Halong Bay with nearly 2,000 islands. It's far from Hanoi, about three and a half hours driving. Halong means dragon landing down. The islands are these incredibly tall shards of limestone that are just jutting up out of the water. You're totally enveloped and you feel so humble being there. Pretty good, pretty big. Salsa Cave isn't like any other cave I've been to. But the light was beautiful and soft and just trying to make its way into every corner of the cave. It's icy in here. It's like the AC set on like 17. It's delicious. There were so many textures in the cave from stalactites, stalagmites, droopy marshmallow shaped walls, every shape conceivable. The final chamber at Sunset Cave really gave you a feel for the scale of this place and it is really, really massive. Check it out, we made it, come have a look. Pretty sick. The stairs at T-Top Island can be super challenging. It better be a fridge with an ice cream at the top. But the view is worth every step of the way. Not bad, not bad, but I reckon it's beer o'clock. Yeah, fun time. There's boats as far as the eye can see. There's music and there's parties and there's all sorts of like big energy coming from everywhere around us. And you just want to enjoy yourself, so. Yeah, I'd definitely do it all again. It was incredibly peaceful to wake up in the boat and do Tai Chi and breathe in the air for the morning. The sun showed its beautiful face behind the islands as we sailed through. It's always so incredible to go through places like the bay to remind you how beautiful and powerful nature is. I'm out here feeling some ASMR IRL and I'm so relaxed. Our next stop on this trip is Hoi An. Hoi An is a laid back, vibey, chill holiday town. It's my favorite color everywhere. Yellow, 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 everything yellow. <laughs> Do you need to know the language to get through Vietnam? Probably not. The people are super friendly and super helpful. They love that people want to be here and it's an honor for them to host. We're at Bami Phuong in the middle of Old Town Hoi An and I've ordered myself three bummies. Crispy pork, classic, kind of can't go past it. Sausage, who doesn't love sausage? And egg omelette. Oh wow, so good. The bread is just on another crunch level. Listen to this crunch. Eggy, crispy, bit spicy. <laughs> Come on. Thank you, see you again. Come on you. <laughs> just walking steam buttons on the mic, DJ Bumbao. There were just so many great photo moments. I just kept falling behind the group. <laughs> Our tour guide, Tao, was incredibly knowledgeable and welcoming throughout the entire tour. Right now, we are at Chinese temple. It was built in 17th century to worship Chinese goddess Guan Yin and Lucky God. Having a guide on the trip just gives you the power to unlock experiences and places that normally you wouldn't find in a guide book. <laughs> Bale restaurant! Bale Wow restaurant is very typical of so many great Vietnamese places. Straight into it. It's just a really tasty four course lunch of skewers, spring rolls, bun sale, and pudding. Mm. Such a ripping place to come for lunch. I would come back time and time again. I think this is one of those places that always stays in the back of your mind and we'll just be like, gotta go there again, somehow. Riding bikes around town makes you really feel like a local. And that's the great thing about Vietnam. There's just so much to take in and capture. And this is 
the red one? We just went to the local market. We bought some noodles, we bought some tofu, we bought some fruit, we bought some veggies, and we're on the way to the cooking class and we're gonna put it all together. We'll see you there. As the sun went down, we learned how to magically transform the ingredients we picked up at the market into our meal for the evening. A culinary feast. I'd love to go back for another class and keep expanding my repertoire of amazing, authentic Vietnamese food. The highlight was definitely the wrapped banana leaf parcels of fish and ginger. When I'm traveling, it's just so refreshing to have a huge cultural swing. Pretty good. Creamy. And it makes me even prouder to be Vietnamese after being here. <laughs>